I know people talk about climate change all the time. And just last week, we saw those protests over the lack of progress on climate mitigation efforts. But if that's not enough to get you interested, how about this? Let's talk about how the government says climate change and worsening natural disasters are going to impact you, the taxpayer. For the first time ever, the Office of Management and Budget put out this 120 page document, which lays out in great detail the financial impact climate change could have on the federal budget aka the taxpayers. So you're gonna probably wanna pay attention to this. The report really outlines four main risk factors, wildland fire suppression, coastal disasters, crop insurance, which subsidizes farmers when their crops are impacted by natural disasters, and health impacts from heat, like poor air quality, food safety, and vector-borne illnesses. It lays out how those costs will change if politicians do a little climate mitigation, a medium amount of climate mitigation, or if they do nothing at all. The OMB says over just the last five years, lost revenue and extreme climate-related weather damage has cost the federal government about $120 billion every year. And by the year 2100, on the low end, those things will be costing us $24 billion more. And on the high end, they could cost $128 billion more. The biggest driver, hurricane damage, accounting for a projected $94 billion more a year. And on top of all that, the OMB estimates if action isn't taken now, by the end of the century, the U.S. gross domestic product could also be slashed by as much as 10%, which then translates into federal revenue losses of about $2 trillion a year in today's dollars. For reference, the president's entire proposed budget is $5.8 trillion, so you can see how big that gets. It's also clear when you read the report, there are a lot of climate risks that are hard to quantify, like how any of this will impact our ecosystems, infrastructure spending, and even national security. And now this isn't the last time we're gonna be seeing a report like this. The Office of Budget and Management will now start releasing this analysis every single year with updated numbers and projections. I will put the entire report and all the supporting documents on my website. It's definitely worth a read.